Good morning, everybody. Jody Freed here, Executive Director from Catamount Film and Arts. I wanted to give you an update this morning on our ongoing operations during the COVID-19 pandemic. We have made the decision, albeit difficult, to keep the Arts Center closed to the public for the summer. So for the months of June, July, and August, we are going to continue to have our online box office available. Um, folks will be able to rent videos, um, and we will have some limited uh, box office hours available from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, for folks who want to call in to get videos or have questions about any ticketing or any other um, any other information that they're seeking. Um, I want to take a second before I go any further and just throw out a big congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, this week and next week um, we have our high schools and our elementary schools going through their commencement ceremonies and festivities. And while this is a time of um, certainly different festivities, we know that these will be ones that will last forever in folks' minds and are testimonial to the incredible hard work that all of our local youth have put in. And so we want to congratulate them and congratulate the families who have supported these amazing students, many of whom Catamount has interacted with over the years through our school time programs, um, through our epic music program, through different types of um, interaction. And we are always amazed um, by the youth in this community. And so a big congratulations to the class of 2020. With that, I'd like to mention some of the new things that we'll be doing this summer. So while the Art Center is, the facility is closed to the public, we're going to continue to engage and be involved in the community in multiple ways. First, I'd like to mention the Hey NEK What's Your Art, which is a virtual art and creativity showcase. And this is an opportunity for anybody who has a talent to share it with the world. And it can be anything. This could be whistling. It could be your ability to bake something. It could be um, a musical instrument. It could be hula hooping. It could anything. If you have a talent and you'd like to share that with the world, this is an opportunity to do so. And sometimes the stage can be limiting in that folks feel intimidated or they don't feel that their talent um, is at a level high enough to be up on a big stage and under the spotlights. And this is an opportunity for folks to create their art in their space and share it with uh, the world. And we will help showcase that. So uh, please take a moment to go to Catamount Arts and check this out, our website. Um, and uh, you can then submit an audio file, a video file, any, any type of visual or audio media um, through our, our portal, um, and we'll be showcasing that. So between now and June 27th, um, we're going to be collecting those, and we hope that you all participate. Um, next thing I'd like to mention is that we're going to be working with the Kingdom All-Stars this summer. Um who are planning to do their new Garden of Grooving Pandemic Proof stage set um, from a hidden location somewhere in the Northeast Kingdom. And the first of their five concerts um, is going to be streaming live on July 1st. And that's going to be the night that we announce the drawing from that concert of the Catamount Arts Summer Solstice Raffle. And so someone that night is going to win either a four-wheel drive tractor, $10,000 in cash, or a Harley-Davidson. And we're going to announce that during the first of those shows. Um, and then those shows are going to continue on, um, and we will continue to feature these amazing student musicians from here in the kingdom. Um, different configurations, exciting music, um, showcasing their talent throughout the summer. Um, when the fairs and the stages like at Dog Mountain perhaps are not as available to them, um, this gives them the ability to continue to bring their music to you. And they're creating their own original material, and I think you're going to be blown away by what you hear. Speaking of the Summer Raffle, if you haven't bought your tickets, we encourage you to do so. 
So we're now um, a month away. And so over the next four weeks, we hope that you'll buy your raffle tickets at $50 each, three for a hundred. Um, this is a great way to support the arts in your community while at the same time um, getting a chance to win a great prize, one of three. Uh, next, I'd like to mention that we are moving into a partnership. Um, the drive-in to say, stay safe um, summer music and concert series and drive-in music series um, on the NVU campuses. And while I don't have a lot of information to share tonight, I do want you to know that we have ordered the equipment for the drive-in movie theater. It's being um, shipped up later this week from Maryland. Um, and what we're going to do is alternate between the two campuses um, so that there's something happening every weekend on both the Johnson and the Linden campuses um, of Northern Vermont University. And this is a great opportunity to not only get to go out and experience the arts in a socially distanced, um, safe public health um, environment, but also a way to support the arts and a way to support Northern Vermont University during this time where they are um, working really hard to reinvent themselves um, to move forward into the future given some very difficult circumstances. So we hope that as more information becomes available and you learn about it, this is something you can be excited about and that you'll be able to get your families out to hear great music and um, see some great nostalgic family films uh, from the comfort of your car uh, in the old, you know, uh, 70s, 80s style drive-in uh, fashion. Um, next, I'd like to mention that we're working uh, with our Epic Music students this summer. So while we aren't doing any summer camps at all, we've canceled our water ski camp and our Epic Music camp. And um, we're not, because of the public health guidelines, able to do those. We are working directly with Epic Music students uh, to ensure that their string um, instruction continues and that they keep those instruments in their hands over the summer. We've also partnered with Northern Counties Healthcare to launch a new initiative called Kingdom Create Health. And this is um, a spin-off of our Kingdom Chronicles, COVID Chronicles. Um, and it's through the lens of the healthcare system. So we're working with Northern Counties Healthcare to use the art to engage, engage populations who are experiencing um, isolation and to work with them to improve their well being and their quality of life. Um, and we're, we're very excited about this partnership. We think that the work that we're doing with Northern Counties Healthcare um, is something that could translate across. Uh, multiple illnesses and be used in lots of different applications within the healthcare setting um, as a therapeutic model to help um, move the needle and, and get people feeling better. Um, we will be moving forward with our annual Arts Connect Juried Art Show and we will be accepting applications over the summer. Um, so look for information on that. Um, and last year we had over 500 submissions from around the world, um, of which I think we picked 75 approximately, and they were on display um, from Thanksgiving on through into the new year. Um, so that's a very exciting development as well. So while the Art Center facility is closed, um, I think you can see from everything we're doing um, that Catamount Arts is here, we're engaged, we care for our community. We care for you. The entire team is passionate about continuing to move forward, even in this environment of scarcity um, and um, a, a time that has been very scary for everybody. We, we know that the arts are more important than ever. Um, they're part of the fabric that hold our community together, and we're committed to continuing in these difficult circumstances to bring the arts to you um, when you can't come to us. So please stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy the summer. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks. Bye-bye.